Hello Taurus, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Overall energy, Taurus, the Five of Wands. Someone's arguing here. All right, how this person is feeling, the Ten of Coins, how they view you, the Five of Swords, action advice, need to know the full energy, and the outcome is Magician. Two of Swords is under the deck. I feel like you're dealing with someone, hmm, it's interesting energy. There's love here, possibly. Oh, maybe there's some deception. Okay. Feels like you may be getting into an argument later this month, possibly, or this may have already happened, but you're not putting your sword down. You're not backing down. This, at least that's how the person views you. You might need a break from this person. You may be manifesting something new or different. So let's see what's going on here. Now, the Five of Wands isn't, to me, that big of a deal. It's, obviously, it could turn into a tower, but... What is the Five of Wands? What is the Five of Wands? We have the Hierophant, the Two of Coins, and the Ten of Coins. So this definitely could be fighting over money. Now, this might not be you. If you're dealing with someone who is, you know, in a relationship with someone else or an ex or something, that could be what's showing up here in your reading. But someone is basically fighting over either like long-term stability, what they want, or money just in general. It could be family, too. Four of Wands is under the deck. Some may be fighting about living arrangements and someone may want to move out or something like that. But how this person feels is the Ten of Coins. Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords, Seven of Coins. This person wants a new beginning because they feel really weighed down. So again, this, this may not be involving you. This may be like if you wanted to know what's going on with another relationship or something, but this person is tired of carrying the burden. They want a new beginning. They're looking at the past. They're looking at a relationship. Maybe they feel like it doesn't pay off. It's not worth their time or money. Or, or they would just want a new beginning, Ace of Swords. Like they want to redo it because they feel weighed down by the situation. Now, how they view you is the Five of Swords. Eight of Wands, the Tower, and then the Page of Wands. Nine of Cups. For some of you, excuse me, this might be a matter with like a lawyer or family member or job or something also could be something over a will. But this is a communication that, like, it's like whoever the Five of Swords is, if this is you, the other person, someone else in the situation, it's like they don't want to back down. So it could be somebody is basically, like I said, they're going to create the tower. The Five of Wands is just, like, not getting along. The tower is like, okay, I'll see you in court or forget this, we're done, because the action or advice is the fool. So someone's like, okay, I'm done, I'm out of the situation. The Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Coins, and the Hanged Man. Someone doesn't like the job. Someone doesn't like how much money they have to make to support everyone. Someone is just not happy with the terms of an agreement. Again, this could be completely job-related. Some of you guys may be quitting a job or something, or you don't like it, you know, in the month of February here. But what is the magician? Because this is your outcome. Somebody is manifesting something. Nine of Wands, the Devil, and the Chariot. Someone is getting out of a toxic relationship. Somebody who felt stuck and just was not happy in the situation. Got a queen of swords under here. So again, this could be an ex of yours or someone else's or hopefully a soon-to-be ex, possibly. Um, where's this chariot headed? Where's this chariot headed? Okay, oh, the king of swords. That means this person is pretty pissed off. What is a ten of coins? Yeah, this person wants a new beginning. They went out of there. They want to just... To, they're not wanting to seek okay, this is what I'm getting, a ten of cups I feel like this is someone who's married they're not happy with the living arrangements they feel like they have to make all the money they feel very weighed down and burdened maybe by like family, extended family bills, children, I mean it could be anything or they have a job they hate they feel stressed out, they're tired um, the five of swords could be them saying I'm not doing this anymore I'm moving on so there's going to be a shake up here someone could you know, just up and quit someone could just move out because Tower can be moving out also. So you could be getting message of, you know, the person you're dealing with saying, you know what, I moved out today. I can't take it anymore. I'm getting out of a toxic situation, the Four of Cups. This could be a surprise to you, especially if this person's coming towards you. Let's say they, they decide to leave a marriage. That Four of Cups in this deck is like he's kind of surprised to see it. It came out of nowhere. So it could be some shocking news. One more for the Four of Cups. Nine of Cups is under here, so this might be you. You might be feeling really emotional or happy. You could be dealing with a water sign, of course. Sometimes I see the Queen of Cups not as a water sign, but someone who may be overly emotional, someone in a situation who where is, you know, and sometimes that can be, you know, person can be manipulative too. One more for that. No, yeah, there's an ending here. 
Yeah, this could be someone who's very emotional because of temperance being there. So there could be an ex, man or a woman, someone who might be trying to stay calm in the situation. It might be a Sagittarius, but um, if that represents you, if this resonates for you and you're getting this message about a big change or shakeup, it could be you being really happy, knowing there's a new beginning. There's a, a change that's coming that's going to benefit you too. Hanged man, the lovers, yeah. You know, I'm seeing this quite a bit in some readings and in just the world in general. And I think it has to do a lot with just COVID and it's been over a year and people are, are married to people they're not happy with and they want to move on. They want to get out of situations. They're tired of feeling burdened. That's exactly what this reading is showing me. This is very specific. So it may not resonate with a lot, but I just do see someone saying, you know what, I'm just done with this situation. I'm done with fighting. One more for the full card. You have the two of wands. Now it's time to make a decision about what path to take. The King of Swords has to pay out some money, whether it's to a lawyer or to an ex or what they're watching, Page of Swords, and they're sad. Queen of Swords under the deck. There's usually a pair here who are not happy with each other, of course. Um, again, this Five of Cups, though, and this could be related to this Queen of Cups. I do feel like sometimes the Queen of Cups can be a fake, you know, a fake persona, you know, how they're acting. They're not really that sad. Um... Was she under the deck? No, he, I did it wrong. I took him out. He needs to go here. She needs to go back under. Okay. I feel like there's someone very vindictive in this re reading. Showing as a woman does not need to be. Men, of course, are too. Everyone can be so, but I'm seeing it. There's a woman here who wants justice by the swords. So this could be the same woman who's crying and acting like she still cares, but doesn't really, because now they're not taking action. They want to win five of swords. They want their wish fulfilled. Nine of Cups, they were hoping, worried that they weren't going to get it. Knight of Wands. Okay, I feel like this other person wanted to leave the situation. Knight of Cups, Three of Swords, maybe it is to come towards you. They want a new beginning. Ace of Coins and Ace of Cups is under here. They wanted justice. Like they wanted to get out of the old situation and move into the new one. Um, when I see the Knight of Wands, that means they're passionate, wanting to move on. But also, sometimes that tells me people could be spreading rumors about them, or they could be spreading rumors about you, too, if you're, if you're in the situation with the Three of Coins. They could be saying the person is cheating when they're really not, because we have the Three of Coins, not the Three of Cups here. That tells me a lot of times someone is thinking they're getting victory by spreading uh, negative you know, rumors and things like that to hurt to hurt the other person. Someone may be afraid to leave a marriage or relationship because of what other people say, family, friends, people at their community, church, etc. So, but I feel like someone's just fed up, like they're just done. This person is, is like finally, you know, I wanna wipe the slate clean and have a new beginning. I wanna fall in love with you again, you know? And they want to, um, like they miss you. Yeah, let's see, Six of Wands, lovers. Like they're keeping an eye on this past person. I think this past person could be very vindictive, vindictive and cause issues. All right. Um, hmm. Let me see. Let me see if there's something this person might want to say to you. If this makes sense. Or let me see. Someone's saying my life is not as together as it seems. And that makes sense. Because if they're getting out of one relationship and trying to hold it together and they are fighting, they got a job maybe they hate. Yeah, I could see a lot of things going on. If there's kids involved or family, what else? Okay, boat. So this is about moving on. Someone says, it says, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So, yeah, that's like the Six of Swords, maybe a little bit faster, but um, moving on. Because to me, the Six of Swords is such a slow-moving card. I'm trying to think if I should extend this one to see how this person feels about you in the situation. I think I will. Um... I'll dive a little deeper and see what they're doing right now and then how they feel about you and their next action and where it will be in three months, six months, and then what other, I'll pull other Oracle cards too for advice and anything else that wants to come through, um, any messages, I'll channel those also if they want to come through. They don't always. All right, so we'll see where this is headed. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Link is below. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.